Hi guys, it's Kaylee June and today I thought I'd do a tutorial on the history brush tool in Photoshop. And I decided to do one on it because I think it's a really underrated tool personally. And I don't think there's really a lot of people using it out there. I mean, of course there's probably a lot, but probably not as many photographers and I just really wanted to show what can be done with it because it is quite a good tool to use. Um, some of you may have noticed uh, a lot in my previous videos that when I'm editing I tend to use snapshots. So if I just go to the history tab here on the right, click on that and you can see that there's already a little snapshot here. So if I click on that, that's the original image and every image that's opened in Photoshop will have that snapshot automatically there. So basically what taking a snapshot does, and this will go in with the history brush tool as well, they're affiliated with each other. So you can see the little camera down here and that's what you use to take a snapshot in Photoshop. So the reason they have this snapshot already automatically there each time you open an image is so you can revert back to the original really easily. So what I'm actually going to do first is just to really show you how it works, I'm going to do some editing. So I'll just do a few quick tones and um, brightening up. So I think I might start off with a curves layer and just add a little bit in there. Go back to layers. Okay. So I'm just going to lighten up her skin a bit with the curves layer. And I'm using a mask at the moment. So I'm just going to lighten that up so she's a bit more... Well, she stands out more, I suppose. And... I'm just going to do some quick tones. Uh, actually, I'll do levels first. Add a bit more contrast. And I'll do a selective color now. So. All right. Yeah, it's a shame that this tool is actually really underused because there's a lot of neat things that you can do with it and and it's such a, just, oh, it's so handy to have this tool. I mean, I make mistakes in Photoshop all the time and it's just a great way of quickly, you know, redoing things and reverting back to the original. All right, so I've added a few uh, tones and just a few adjustments. One way I tend to use the history tool a lot is, and just to make my life easier instead of going and deleting things all the time, is that especially when I'm experimenting with tones on images and I'm using a lot of layers, I will tend to take snapshots as I go. So if I take a snapshot right now, it comes up here and it'll name it snapshot one. And then if you can take another one afterwards, it'll name it snapshot two and so on. But the good thing about this is now is that I've kind of got like a backup there. So if I make any changes, any extra changes that I'm not happy with or any more layers, I don't have to go through and delete them all. I can just go back to that snapshot. So what I'm going to do right now is this is also a really good way to just see how different the photo looks to the original that was opened in Photoshop. So... There you can quite easily see the difference that it's made uh, making those adjustments. So that's one really good way to do that in Photoshop. And um, so just to give you an example, I'll add a couple more layers like, I don't know, vibrance. It's probably really, really vibrant, but that's okay because we're only just doing this as an example. So, and I'm going to add a color balance, you know, we're just going to you know, it looks horrible. So I've decided that I don't like the color balance and I don't like vibrance. So instead of going and deleting those layers, I can just go back to my history tab and click snapshot one because that's what I was really happy with. And so that's why I always take snapshots and I, I tend to do it after, you know, every new sort of like adjustment that I make 
it's it's just a really handy way of doing things and um so the history brush tool is a little bit different in what it does it's not like the snapshot tool but you can use the snapshots with the history brush tool so as you can see there's a little brush just in this box here so if I flatten the image now and I'll take another snapshot I can actually and so if I click on the history brush tool we need to do that first you can see that there's a little brush there so what that means is you've got your image now as it is and say you want certain elements or say you were happy with the model skin tone in the original image and you've decided you don't like the changes that you've made using the layers but you don't want to change the background because you think that looks good so only just certain elements that you want to change of the photograph this is where the history brush tool comes in and it's really handy so it's already highlighted next to the original snapshot that we have there so we just and this you can do for any time throughout your editing process with your snapshots you just click on that and then we'll just lower the opacity down just a little bit and we'll click on the model skin tone so it's reverting those changes back to the original and we're changing the photograph again so it's really good if you've made changes that you're not happy with and you just you really want to go back to something that you've done before and I think that's why it's really important to take snapshots as well because sometimes you look at a photo for too long and you keep working on it and you keep working on it and editing and and then you kind of take a break go away for a little while and come back to it and then realize that you've done too much to it or you're just not happy with it um, so it's always good to just keep those snapshots there if you've still got the image open. Keep in mind though that generally when you close the image or you've saved it and you close the image and you close Photoshop, the snapshots will be gone. So even if you save it as a PSD, the snapshots won't be there. So it's really just while you're working on the image and, and as you're working on it. So you can save, what you can usually do is go back to the snapshots that you do like and you can save them as PSDs but um, they won't come up in the PSD file. So yeah, that's basically how the, the history brush tool works and snapshots work. And they're really, really easy tools to use once you get the hang of them. Um, like I said, I, I think it's a really underrated tool. Not a lot of people tend to use them. There are other ways to do similar things in Photoshop and to revert back to, to changes that you've made and, and things like that. But I think this is just really really a good tool to use so but yeah I hope it made sense to you guys and and I hope that I explained it as clearly as possible um, if you've got any requests or any ideas for videos you'd like me to do just let me know in the comments section below and thank you very much for watching I hope to get some more tutorials up soon all right thanks very much guys see you later bye